Hey, let's talk about uh, when uh, Dr. D. David Schultz, and talking about kayfabe and not kayfabe, and back in when guys protected their business because it was their business. And, you know, everything was predicated on the fact that this was real. When John Stossel went back to do that interview with Dr. D, and Dr. D, I, I never met the guy, David Schultz, but he was probably a little bit on the aggressive side, and he slapped John Stossel a couple of times and really damaged his ears, but obviously a very unwise move, not a smart thing to do, but he was trying to protect the business in his way. What was your opinions when that was going down? Well, I think Dave was uh, stressed out at the time. But the the real truth of it is is that he did take pride in the business, and I think that when that happened with Stossel, his attitude was that um, he did, I think he did it for the boys and did it right. for everybody. He thought right. that everyone would go, you know, who is this punk to be? You know, yeah, I thought he uh, he was trying to give credibility to you know, and I, I I agree that it was probably not the smartest thing in the world, but he that's how kind of how Dave was. Dave had a short fuse and. Uh, when he got himself worked up enough, he had a short fuse and could go off on anybody. But uh, in saying that, I always thought Dave was always a, he was always a good guy to me, and I, I always thought that you just had to sort of work through that and calm the beast in him sometimes and get him back to his, back to his. But he was, uh, I, uh, in looking back on that, I always, I've seen that clip back so many times, and I have to admit that uh, that Stossel did deserve to get slapped. He was. He he, he he really had the line by a long shot. He did. He crossed the line. He had an ind- indignant tone. Uh, it was condescending. And if if you're going to do that, if you're going to take that approach, the smartest place to do that isn't where he did that. Maybe in a studio there, you know, where he had all his people around. Not that they would have done anything, but uh, I th- I think he picked the wrong person, the wrong place, and the wrong time to conduct that interview. Right, uh, but I always thought Dave, in his, you know, in looking back over things over the years, I've always thought he was a hero to me for that day. You know, he was always a hero. That uh, was what uh, he did that for a lot of the boys. Uh, saluted him on that one. 